Hey there friend, are you writing a story that comes deeply from your heart or your art? Are you wondering whether it's worth writing a book that you're not even sure if you wanna publish? If so, I really want you to watch this video. My name is Kelly Notaris. I'm the founder of KN Literary Arts. We are the place that will help you get from wherever you are to having a book in your hand. So please visit us at knliterary.com. I also bring 25 years of publishing experience as a book editor in the U.S. publishing business to this YouTube channel for free. So please hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you never miss a video. So today I want to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. Because while I teach mostly about publishing, how to get published, how to write and craft a book that is going to be widely read um, and on and on in that area, the thing that is closest to my heart is the value that, that writing a book has for you as a person. Because the truth is that writing your story is first and foremost a critical healing process for you, well beyond anything that will ever happen in the outside world. So what I want for you, if you want that, is to have your book sell and become famous and be a writer for your living and all those things. Whatever it is that you want, I want that for you. But more than that, I want you to heal. I want you to find meaning in your life. And I want you to understand yourself and your story more deeply so that you can be of more benefit in the world to others. This is what is at the heart of my whole process. It's what's, it's the heart of KN Literary Arts. We always say that writing a book is actually about so much more than writing a book. <laughs> because in order to be that audaciously creative, and especially if we're talking about our own story, that vulnerable in the marketplace, we have to have done our work. And what's so wonderful about writing your story is that writing your story is doing your work. Now, I know this from my own experience. I have been working on a memoir on and off for over 10 years. And it's not a memoir that I necessarily think I'm going to be um, ever publishing, but I keep going back to it because as I do, I learn so much more about myself. Um, the hindsight that I have now, writing about things that happened 10, 15, 20 years ago is gold. It shows me parts of who I was and how to contrast that with who I am today and what it marks my journey in a way that's so healing for me. It helps me to make meaning of my life and to draw the connections between different points on the constellation of Kelly's journey. That by itself is reason enough to be writing for me. You know, a lot of people say to me, you know, oh, you're telling me that my book isn't good enough if, you, if you're telling me not to focus on getting published. I'm like, no, I don't even know if your book is good enough. I have no idea, right? I mean, Publishing is a high bar if you want to be traditionally published by the big houses. Like there's just no question about that, just like in any creative industry. But I spend my time writing, writing my own story that I don't even necessarily think I'm going to publish. Why would I do that as someone who's deeply involved in the publishing business, who understands exactly what a book needs to do and have in order to be published by a traditional publisher? Why would I waste my time writing a story that I don't really think is necessarily going to be interesting to other people? And the reason is that writing is an act of self-love for me. It is time I set aside for a purpose that's not functional. It's not about productivity in a way that's going to get me something in the outside world. As an Enneagram type three, um, I'm mostly focused on doing things that are going to get me some accolades from the outside. But this writing I do for my insights. I do it for me. It's an act of saying to all of the different priorities that are on my plate that are really associated with other people and business and family and friends and all that. Hey guys, I don't have, I, I, I'm not going to focus on you right now. I'm focusing on myself, I'm focusing on my own journey. So I journal almost every day and this is kind of a similar thing I'm talking about. And yet I'm getting so much out of writing it as scenes, as um, a story that other people might want to read. Not that I think it's going to ever go there, but it's, there's a way that I feel super creative. I, I feel accomplished in a deep inner way 
And again, like I said, I'm, I'm learning things about myself. One thing I can say um, is that I've long thought of myself as being an Enneagram three with a two wing. I don't know if any of you are Enneagram fans. If you're not, you can look it up and see what I'm talking about. We'll actually put the link below to um, a test for figuring out what your Enneagram type is because it's like a passion of mine. Um, but usually every type has is either more similar to the number on one side of them or other. So as a three, I would be more similar to a three with a two or more similar to a three with a four. And I think I've had some judgment about like, like, you know, the emotional turmoil that I see in a lot of fours, the suffering that defines a four. Um, and so I've often said, oh, yeah, I'm a three with a two wing. I'm more of like the helper type. I'm more of the giver type. I got to tell you, in writing my story, I have discovered much to my humility, that I am a drama queen, <laughs> or at least I was, um, you know, back at the beginning of my spiritual journey. And there was a lot of crying. There was a lot of tears. There was a lot of turmoil. And, um, and I see that actually I did start off life as a three with a four wing. Like that by itself is such a huge awareness and awakening about myself, a huge self understanding. I, I feel so grateful to myself for having set aside the time to be writing my story so that I could discover that about myself. So while, again, I'm always going to be talking about the book you were born to write, maybe to be published, maybe to self-publish, um, I do love that and I, it's my career and it's what I love helping people do. I also just wanted to take a moment to put my flag in the territory of writing for the sake of writing and writing for, as I say, your heart or your art as being not just valid, but also important. It is you showing yourself that you're willing to put aside time to be creative and to map your own journey. What else do we have but the experiences we have lived? And to take the time out of your busy schedule of helping others or doing to be productive, to be deeply in your own journey is a gift that you truly can't replace with anything else. So as much as I love writing for the sake of publishing, I'm encouraging you to write regardless. Write every day, just a little bit, and see how that act of self-love blossoms into something in your life that is nourishing and rich and can give you some sort of internal access to your compass, to your soul, to where you've been and where you're going to help you map out what you want in your future. There are so many reasons to be writing the book before the book, as I call it, um, a book that's not necessarily meant to be published, but is actually there to be your own transformational experience and journey. So I hope that you'll take this to heart and actually sit down and do some writing today. And we'll have a resource down below that'll help you get started with that. So with that, I wish you all the best and as always, happy writing.